This pizza has onions. I don't want onions. I don't eat onions. When trying to impress a customer with concerns, the key thing to remember, never ever argue with your customers, even if they are wrong. Really? Look right here in the box. It says pepperoni and onions. Remember, never ever argue with your customer. Now say it with me. Never ever argue with your customer. Looks like this delivery driver needs more training. We've said that team member authorization is the key to handling customer concerns, but still, you need to know how to use this key. That's why we've developed a procedure called Impress the Concern. Regardless of what concerns the customer brings to your attention, you should use the Impress the Concern procedure to turn it into a positive experience for the customer. Here's how it works. Hello, Mrs. Hoover. I'm Chris from Generics Pizza. I have your pizza here in 28 minutes, and that's one two liter of Sprite and a large sausage beef and onion. Is that right? Yes, that's what I ordered, but I only wanted onions on half. Well, could you take this and check it and make sure it's right? I want to make sure you're happy before I leave. I sure will. No, it's wrong. It has onions on all of it. My kids won't eat it. Well, I apologize for our mistake. You keep the pizza that's wrong, I'll call the store and have another one made right away. First, apologize, whether you personally made the mistake or not. It's important that the apology is sincere. You are representing your pizzeria to the customer. It is very important for you to say, I'm sorry. Often just saying you're sorry makes the customer feel better right away. That's one large with sausage and beef on all of it and onions on half. Is that correct? Yes. Then, give the customer what they want. Following the guarantee, remake or refund. Unless they ask for a refund, offer them a remake. I can get that remade for you and back out here in 20 minutes. I'd also like to offer you a free order of our breadsticks, cinna sticks, or fudge brownies. Which would you like? Oh, that sounds good. Give me an order of breadsticks, please. Then, do something to impress the customer. Give them something extra. Okay, I'll call that in right now and it'll be ready for me when I get back to the store. I'll have your correct order back here in 20 minutes. Again, I'm sorry for our mistake. Thank you for calling Generics Pizza. This is Amy speaking. How may I help you? Amy, this is Chris. I have a bad order for Mrs. Hoover. I need a remake with a large sausage and beef and onions on only half of it. I also gave her a free order of breadsticks for her inconvenience. Can you get that made and in the oven for me right away? I'm headed back to pick it up right now. Okay, will do. I'll have that ready for you. Stand by your promise. Follow through with what you told the customer as soon as possible. Here you go, Mrs. Hoover. That's one large pizza with sausage and beef and onions on half of it and a free order of breadsticks. Will you please take it and check it and make sure it's right this time? I sure will. It looks good. I'm sure it is. The total's $19.50. Here you go, and keep the change. Thank you very much. Again, I'm sorry for the mistake. I hope you enjoy your meal, and I thank you for calling Generics Pizza. We hope to hear from you again soon. Sometimes, when honoring our guarantee, the customer may choose a refund. This pizza has mushrooms on it. I didn't order mushrooms. I don't like mushrooms. I'd like my money back. Yes, ma'am. I'm very sorry about that. You can just throw that away, and here's your money back, $11.25. Here's a card for a free bread product for your next order. And again, I'm sorry for our mistake. Now our delivery driver is doing it right. Remember, your management team may be giving away something other than our example to impress customers with concerns. They may or may not have had impress the concern cards made up for drivers. You should know what your pizzeria's policies are.